So in this video, I want to talk about why I think Rogers hockey was so strong. If you haven't seen my previous hockey video yet, I would watch that one first. But basically with the understanding that hockey awakening comes from struggling to survive, undergoing experiences like starvation or lack of oxygen are ways to more consistently awaken hockey abilities. Also some hints at some other ways you can awaken hockey from foregoing certain human desires or necessities. Hockey allows you to will your spiritual energy to aid in your survival despite the circumstances, which leads me to Gold D. Rogers hockey app. Aptitude. Dude conquered the oceans and became the pirate king all while having no devil fruit against actual monsters with devil fruits and this is the kicker, having a terminal illness probably comparable to cancer. There was something literally sapping his energy, eating away at his body, taking a toll off his body and soul every day, not too different than the toll starving and asphyxiation would have. Whatever dream Roger had, he fought against literally life the entire way on the hardest path, a path no one else had claimed, and because of that drive, that's probably what made his conquerors hockey so strong. Most people in his situation wouldn't have even tried, he probably had to do it against his friend's wishes as well. He had to manipulate energy so hard through his conqueror's will that no one would dare stand in front of the dreams of a dying man, a man with a time limit on life. Even when he found out that he might not be able to see his dream through, because it was prophesied that something he needed would be born 10 years in the future and he knew he would be dead before then, he still didn't let that deter him. He overcame that and got to Laugh Tale. Following this theory makes me think that after Laugh Tale, Roger probably became significantly weaker. After witnessing the end of the Grand Line for himself, finally experiencing the reality that he was born too early and would die too soon, his will to continue living probably greatly diminished, which probably meant his willpower couldn't sustain himself against cancer and probably accelerated his decline. That ending part is just speculation, but nonetheless, Roger's story hit way harder once I got diagnosed with cancer myself. Resolving yourself to do anything when it feels like you have an expiration date feels incredibly defeating. A lot of respect to those living with long-term health conditions and are surviving. Stay strong and stay healthy, friends. Because of the life Roger lived, he ended up inspiring countless others who are super impressive and still look up to Roger. One thing I wish Oda did, though, is had Roger use his Conqueror's Hockey at his execution to knock out most of the crowd and see all the people who were left standing, and then had Roger say, I see, good luck, as he passed away smiling.